Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to understand a very important technique called as entropy while constructing the decision tree. We will also understand why this entropy is very very important. So let me just consider an example. As you know that decision tree basically means that we will be constructing this kind of trees based on the attributes, right? And finally you will be seeing that after constructing this tree, this will basically be your leaf nodes, you know, final class labels in short. Now let me just give an example. Suppose I have feature F1, F2, F3 and based on this feature I have a dependent feature which is like output and I the type of output is basically a binary classification. So the, uh, the output will be either yes or no. Okay. Now while constructing the decision tree there is a concept or there is an algorithm which is called as ID3 algorithm. The ID algor ID3 algorithm basically says that the first step is to select the right attribute for the splitting of the decision tree, which is the first uh, you know feature that I should consider as the node. So, in order to consider which which feature should I use for splitting the nodes, that basically means that we have to use this entropy technique. Because remember, guys, suppose I'm considering this F1 node, right? Now, based on the categories inside my F1, which is my this feature, I'll be splitting these nodes, and then after this, I may select F2 node, then I may select F3 node over here right so we should understand how should we select the right attribute we can also proceed with f2 over here or f3 over here right so what is the basic approach to select the right attribute to for the splitting purpose because if i select it in the right way i may get the leaf node very quickly otherwise if i don't select this then my division of the tree may go till much depth you know and it may take much time so in order to see that, to select the best attribute of the node, I mean best attribute in case of the feature, we basically apply something called as entropy. Now entropy helps us to measure the purity of the split. Measures the purity of the split. Now understand guys, suppose I selected F1, initially I had 9 yes and 5 no's. And this is basically my output class labels. So I am basically saying that, 9 records says 9 yes and remaining 5 records had no's as its output. Okay, But after I selected F2, I got somewhere around you know 3 yes and 2 no's. And in this case, suppose I got somewhere around 6 yes and 3 no's. Now you can see over here, this is not a pure subsplit. Because pure subsplit basically means that either you, you should be getting yes or you should be getting no. Okay. So again what I did is that based on this F2 I took it and I started splitting more. And suppose in this case I got 3 yes and 0 no's as my output. And here I got 0 no's and 0 yes. Sorry 2 no's and 0 yes. Now here you can see I have got a pure subsplit. In this particular case whenever my branch happens to this particular path. At that time I am also going to get always the output as yes. This is basically my leaf node. And similarly in this case. Suppose I get 6 yes here and 3 no's over here. Right? This is basically my leaf node. Now, in order to get the leaf node quickly, and we should do that, we should aim in a decision tree that we should be able to get the leaf node quickly. We have to select the right parameters. So these parameters will, are basically my features in, of the data set. Okay? And in order to set, set this, we need to make sure that the purity split, we have to go and calculate the purity of this particular split every time in each and every node. So for that we use something called as entropy. Now entropy you can see that it measures the purity of the split and the formula is simple. Minus probability of plus. I'll say you this probability of plus means what? Log of base to probability of plus minus probability of negative log of base to probability of negative. Okay. Now what does this P plus and P minus say? It says that positive percentage of positive plus divided by percentage of negative class okay this divided is just like i'm i'm saying that or p negative is basically percentage of negative class p positive is nothing but percentage of positive class now you have to understand that now what is this positive class now just imagine guys after this split i got 3 yes and 2 no's right if i want to calculate the entropy of this particular node suppose i have selected this particular node after this i want to decide whether i have to go with f2 or f3 for the first splitting. So I will go and compute the entropy of both this. And entropy in this case I have 3 yes and 2 no's and 6 yes and 3 no's. Right. 
So let me just calculate the entropy of this. Now entropy over here I can write it as understand this formula negative and probability of plus. This is nothing but percentage of positive plus. You can see that I have 3s yes, divided by 5. Why I am taking 5? Because I, since I have to calculate the percent in the denominator I have to take the whole number of records. right? So it is like 3 by 5. And again I have log base to 3 by 5. Minus, probability of minus, what is probability of minus? 3 by 5 again, sorry, this is 2 by 5. Because I have 2 no's and total number of records are 5. And log of base to 2 by 5. Now when I compute it, I may get somewhere around, you know, 0 0.78. 0 0.78 bits. And always remember guys, if you have a complete impure subset, complete impure subset basically means, like this case, suppose you have a scenario where you have 3 yes and 3 no's. In this scenario, you your entropy will always be 1. This is the worst split because it is completely impure. You have 50% of probability saying at yes, 50% of probability saying at no. Right? So, the it will be basically 1 bit. And always remember, for a pure soft split, suppose I have a case wherein I have 4 yes and 0 no's. For this, if I try to compute in this, I will definitely get it as 0 bit. So, you should understand that the entropy of the value is between 0 to 1. Now, what I do is that, suppose I want to select F2 or F3 first. I will go and compute the entropy of this. Okay? If I get the entropy lesser, in the lesser value when compared to this, suppose this particular entropy is 0.75, this particular entropy is 0.5. That basically means that this, is, this entropy value is much more better than that. So I may go and go ahead and select F2 and start splitting it. Okay. But understand guys, this I'm talking with respect to just one node. Right. But we should also consider after I split below, after I split this, I may also require some other attributes to leave, reach the leaf node. And I also have to take the entropy of those values and add it up, you know, some do the submission of all, submission of all those entropy values. So for that, we have a new concept called as information gain. Information gain makes sure that from the top till the end, till the leaf node, it will go and compute what is the very good entropy value, what is the total entropy value, along with some different formula, which I will be discussing about information gain in my next session, in my next video. But this particular video is more focused with respect to single, single nodes. And always remember guys, entropy values ranges between 0 to 1. Okay. Now when I say 0 to 1, it will be looking something like this. This is the 0, this is the 1. Okay? And entropy value always ranges between these two parameters. So, it, 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 if it is 1, that basically means it is a completely impure subset. So, in my next video, I will be explaining about information gain. Because entropy is just calculated for one node. If you want to calculate the information, I mean the entropy of all the nodes, till the depth, till the leaf node, we basically use information gain. Information gain combines all the entropy together. And I will just show you that formula in my next session. Uh, because that will also be a very simple formula and that is what it happens in each and every algorithm whenever we are applying decision tree okay with respect to any data set that we want we will go ahead and calculate the entropy and uh, we will try to find out which feature is best for splitting it and then we get the whole decision tree that is basically created so i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll share i'll meet you all in the next video thank you one and all god bless you